Born 18537, nine Milton Square, Maltby near Rotherham, the fourth child of Harold and Kathleen Woodhouse. Left school and started work in the collieries at Maltby, the coal mine, for two and a half years. And decided I would leave the coal mine, but if I left the coal mine at the time, I would be called up for national service within six months. So we decided for an extra pound a week, two or three of us, we'd join the army as three-year regular soldiers. So I proceeded to go to Doncaster and sign on and in the army. But uh, the sergeant there was a uh, guards sergeant. He wanted me to go in the guards, but I wasn't quite tall enough at the time, so I declined. And I joined in the Royal Artillery. But we're going back on the bus, there was four of us. Bobby Bacon joined the engineers. Yep. A lad called Wixie joined the Remy, which I wanted to join. And uh, Bill Harris, Podge Harris, joined the um, artillery. And we decided on the bus going there, we wouldn't go in the same regiment. So I went back the next day, not wishing to serve with Harris, because I know what a bit of a waster he was. <laughs> and I said to the bloke, can I change it? And he said, yeah, what do you want to go in? And looking on the wall was a signals poster. I said, I'll go in that. And that's my, my big decision, the big thought process. I went in the signals. And I changed it, and that was on the 3rd of February, 1955. And on the 10th of February, 1955, I left Doncaster Station. My dad saw me off, and I proceeded to Catterick. Arriving at Darlington Station, there was hundreds of people, which is obvious, was going to Catterick, and there were mainly recruits for signals, national service and regulars, and recruits for the Royal Tank Corps, which was at Waitworth Camp. Yeah. Hundreds of them. It was obvious what we were doing, and we all got on the train for Richmond. We got off the train at Richmond, and then some of us decided we'd walk to Kemmel, because somebody said it was only two miles up the road, so we, we'd set off up the road walking. And we got as far as Gaza when a bus arrived, so we jumped on the bus. We'd saved tuppence, which was pr I found out later was the price of a cup of tea. So we, we did all right. Anyway, we got to Camel Lines, the guard room at Camel, and uh, the sergeant come out and said, right, regulars that side, national service that side. And the national service lads was marched off into Vimy Lines, and we was loaded onto wagons and taken back to Richmond, which we should have, could have done in the first <laughs> place. And we was taken up to Gallifield Trade and Gallifield Gallagate Camp, I'll get it yeah. right, but it was now a Gallifield Trading mm -hmm. Estate. On arriving there, we were shoved into wood nuts as holding troop, because they had to form 120 before they could start the training. Yeah. So they were waiting to form 120. And it was the miserablest winter you could ever come across. There's snow on the floor. The first two weeks of tra of in there, we just spent clearing the snow off the square for the lads to do drill. We didn't do any drill at all. We just, that's what we just worked. And we, all we had issued to us, was denims, because the civilian clothes, when once we arrived there, was taken off yeah. and parceled up, and we had to send them home, because she wasn't allowed to possess civilian clothes. Never mind wear them, you weren't allowed to possess them. And we spent about two and a half, three weeks cleaning the snow, and then we formed up into Walden troops. In, the, in that time, rat coal was scarce. Yeah. So what we did, somebody had a bright idea, we moved the wooden lockers, took the floorboards up, put the lockers back and burnt the floorboards. This in your accommodation? This was in the old accommodation. Yeah. How many people were you, was in there then with you? About 20 in each hut. But once we moved into um, the training accommodation, yeah. there, were, there was a brick block with concrete floors, and there was 20 in, in that accommodation. 20, there was 40 in the troop, 20 in each block. And we had one set of ablutions and one set of uh, wash on basins, yeah. which we had to go outside to use. There's no, no inside. So if you went out to the toilet in the middle of the night, you had to go about 20, 30 yards and come back. There's nothing, you know. And I remember the first meal I ever had.